Okay, good morning. We're going to do a quick video of a fly. Pretty simple fly. It's going to be a crane fly larva pattern. The reason I'm doing this video is material that I found at Joanne Fabrics local craft uh, actually a local fabric store that uh, my wife was going into one day sitting out in the parking lot and I thought well maybe I'll run into real quick and get see what they got you never know might run across something but the material that I'm using is a called Patton's Classic Wool Roving it is natural color and it's 100% uh, pure wool it's a Canadian product it's a very great color the color on this has so much mauve into it it's uh, gray mauve tan looks like that uh, Chadwick's 477 better than I've ever seen now it is a little thicker than the Chadwick's if you want to make a thinner fly you can separate it pretty easily but I'm going to show you another way to get around that the fly uh, or the hook I'm going to use is a Sabre size 10 curved nymph hook Clamp it in there closer to the barb because I want to get down around the bend just a little bit here of the hook. And what I'm going to do is start with a little lead. The lead that I'm going to use, and yeah, we'll go with uh, go with this point zero one five. We'll do about a dozen wraps or so, just enough to add a little weight to it. about 14 wraps the thread I'm going to use is Danville it's a like a cream colored 140 denier add some thread in front of the lead I'm going to keep the lead centered on the hook shank bring it around back Then you can wrap up through. By doing that, is you're stopping the thread from separating your lead. Just wrap it up good. You want to build a nice little ramp from your hook shank up over your lead, nice and even. So when you tie on your wool and wrap it up, it, uh, it's pretty even. So go ahead and tie or spin your thread back to the top of the bend of the hook there. Bring it back up. And now we're going to add a little wax to the top of that thread. This is just paraffin wax. Nothing special. Stuff that I had downstairs, uh, old canning wax. It's good for this. What it does, it just helps your wool or any product for that matter just keeps it secure from moving around a little bit on you I'm going to trim off that and put playing around with it alright so lay your wool yarn right on top right behind where you left off with the lead wrap it back to about where you left that thread at right to the bend of the hook here bring her back up and take your thread back to the front of the fly there now your first wrap just hold it don't twist it bring it around the hook halfway from here 
I want you to spin the yarn in the direction to tighten it up. Now for me it's uh, counterclockwise. I'm left handed here. Let's see if I'm right handed would it be the same? Should be huh? But yeah just uh, tighten it up. Take your vise. You can go hand over hand if you don't have a rotary vise. No big deal. Spin it up. First one make sure it's nice and tight. And with touching turns, bring it all the way up to the front. Now this crane fly, fly larvae, it's pretty effective fly. It's bigger. It's a bigger fly, inch to inch and a half long. Typically is what you see them at. I'll go one more. We won't leave enough room in front here that you don't crowd the eye of the hook. Give it a few turns to secure it and from an angle go ahead and cut your yarn away. Oops. I'm going to trim off a little more there. We don't crawl the eye of the hook here. Let's get in there a little better. There. Right. Build yourself up a little, little head there for your fly. Fingers are rough. Hands are rough from working outside. Okay, there you go. What I like to do is, uh, at this point, if there's any stuff around the eye of the hook, keep everything out of the way and get your lighter out. Clean it up just a little bit. Another trick I found too: if you do have some stuff around the eye of your hook, take your bucket. This is an older box and this is one of the smaller ones. Heat up the point. Stick it in there. It cleans everything out of your eye there. See? Nice clean eye. Alright, from this point we're going to add a little piece of hackle. Hackle I'm using is a hen hackle from a cape that I got. It's going to be brown. The reason it's brown is I want these legs to look rather realistic. I'll break off of the bottom there. You don't need that. And what I'm going to do is take Pull back like that, take the center, break the center off, and now I'm left with that. I'm going to take the hackle and place it. It doesn't matter if you go upside down, right side up. I've been going right side up on this. Make a V, place it right around the thread, right under the fly. Make sure you give it a little you out and it's going to look here. Take your fingers there and give it a good pinch. Give it one wrap, two wraps, adjust it down. Now normally I would do a pinch wrap. I would just flip the fly over and do a pinch wrap. But my fingers are so rough right now from the winter and the job that I do that uh, thread gets, has been getting caught in my rough hands which makes it a mess. So after a couple wraps go ahead and 
get your wet finish tool and cut away the excess first makes it a little easier to whip it after you cut away the excess take your wet finish tool just a few whips because you're going to add some UV to it pull nice and tight cut your thread away get your UV finish out Take your bucket, make sure you get all, all the thread, you don't want uh, this to come apart on you, this will be the first thing to come apart on you, these legs here, alright, that looks pretty good. Zap it with your light. Yeah, I'll just put these batteries in there. Must be a little loose in there or something. Zap it real good. Alright. Now you want to take that hackle, pull it straight down. Take your scissors. Trim it to about, oh, just a fraction of an inch. Not very long at all. If you, I'll tell you, I'll flip it over here, that way you can see what I'm doing here. Just enough to, about like that. Now, take your fingernail and rough them up. You don't have that many legs on them. So you can, if you pull a couple out, that's no big deal. Okay, there you go. You got yourself a cream fly larva. It's about what? Uh, about three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch long. They go all the way up to about an inch and a half, so you can use a bigger bigger hook if you want. Alright, appreciate you checking me out. This is more about the product. It's uh, again, it's Patton Classic Wool Roving. The color of it. I don't know if it's coming through on the camera, but it's, boy, it's got a lot of mauve in it. Looks a lot like the Chadwick 477, but a little thicker. But by spinning it, like I did, tightening it up, you get yourself a nice body there. You can make them fatter, of course, if you uh, add more lead to it. It is, uh, again, it's uh, pure new wool. It, uh, from Canada, it's a Canadian product. And the color that I'm using is natural. Alright, if you like the video, give me a click and subscribe. Hope you uh, stay tuned for more. Been working a lot. Still would like to get more videos out to you guys, but I do have a few that I've been working on. This, uh, but this is what I wanted to get out to you because I really, really like this wool. I really like the color of the wool. And I hope you do too. Alright, thanks for watching. Enjoy and be safe out there.